Greetings, my friends. Today, we venture into the heart of farms across the United States to witness the intricate process of harvesting thousands of tons of vegetables and fruits in the 2022 crop season. Later in the video, we'll navigate the waters of the U.S. to explore the fishing methods employed for certain species. According to forecasts from the USDA, the agricultural landscape in 2022 may experience a 7% reduction in production compared to the previous year due to the impacts of climate change. Despite this, numerous large-scale fruit and vegetable farms anticipate a bountiful harvest in 2022. Before we embark on this agricultural journey, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay abreast of our upcoming content. Join us as we uncover the nuances of this year's crop and the fascinating world of fishing in U.S. waters. Our inaugural stop takes us to a sweet potato farm nestled in Johnston County, North Carolina. From the twilight of August to November, an influx of approximately 5,000 laborers converges upon North Carolina's sweet potato fields, with an estimated 35% of them being undocumented immigrant workers. The primary task entrusted to these harvest workers is the meticulous gathering of sweet potatoes, deftly filling small buckets with the bountiful produce. Following this hands-on harvest, the sweet potatoes find their way onto awaiting trucks. For every bucket laden with these nutritious tubers, workers are rewarded with a small cart, symbolizing their earnings for the day, a tangible testament to their toil. In recent years, North Carolina has consistently outshone all other states in sweet potato production. According to 2021 statistics, the sweet potato cultivation expanse in North Carolina spans an impressive 46,000 acres, yielding around 771,000 tons. This remarkable output represents a staggering 43% of the entire country's sweet potato production. Beyond North Carolina, California, and Mississippi also emerge as significant contributors to the nationwide sweet potato landscape. As we traverse the varied agricultural terrain, our journey leads us to a table grape farm in the fertile expanse of California. Here, the meticulous practices of grape cultivation unfold, offering a nuanced perspective on the diverse and vital agricultural endeavors shaping the United States. From August to November, a significant influx of laborers, numbering in the tens of thousands, descend upon California's grape farms for the annual harvest. These vineyards, situated in California, boast the highest concentration of migrant workers nationwide, with an estimated 93,000 immigrant laborers engaged in vineyard work each year. The grape harvest involves the meticulous cutting of billions of grapes, with non-qualifying ones discarded before the packaging process. At this particular farm, the discarded grape percentage hovers between 17 to 20 percent, constituting a substantial amount of wasted grapes, a notable concern for grape enthusiasts. As per a 2021 USDA report, California dominates the viticultural landscape with a vast expanse of 900,000 acres, encompassing 95 percent of the country's grape-growing area. Annually, the state yields a staggering 5.9 million tons of grapes, translating to a considerable value of $5.2 billion. Not only does California hold the distinction of being the foremost state in fresh grape production, but it also claims a pivotal role in raisin production, contributing to 98% of the nation's raisin output. This multifaceted contribution underscores California's pivotal role in the grape industry and its impact on both the fresh produce and dried fruit sectors. Our next destination in this video takes us to a cherry farm in Washington. Each year, between April and the end of July, approximately 21,000 workers congregate at cherry farms nationwide for the annual harvest. The United States presently dedicates about 115,000 acres of land to cherry cultivation, predominantly in states like Washington, California, Michigan, and Oregon. Despite the straightforward label of cherries in grocery stores, the United States boasts over 1,000 distinct cherry varieties. Workers laboriously pick billions of cherries, depositing them into plastic buckets. For every bucket filled, a worker earns a wage of $4, averaging a daily income of $70 to $90 after an 8-hour workday. In 2021, cherry production in the United States reached 266,000 tons, contributing to a substantial value of $523 million. Washington emerges as the leading state in cherry production, yielding approximately 164,000 tons, followed by California with 59,000 tons and Oregon with 43,000 tons. 
Following harvest, the amassed cherries undergo processing at the factory, where they are packaged and transformed into various products such as canned cherries or juice. This intricate process underscores the significance of the cherry industry and its economic impact, particularly in leading states like Washington, in shaping the nation's agricultural landscape. Our following destination brings us to a broccoli farm in California, offering a glimpse into the intricate process of harvesting tens of tons of broccoli. Currently, California allocates a sprawling 119,000 acres for broccoli cultivation, constituting a staggering 90% of the nation's broccoli growing expanse. Remarkably, broccoli harvesting across the United States is executed by hand, given the absence of specialized harvesters for this particular vegetable. Workers meticulously cut the broccoli, filling the buckets attached to their backs. Annually, around 4,000 laborers migrate to California to partake in the demanding tasks on broccoli farms. Following the harvest, the collected broccoli finds its way into plastic trays, ready to be transported to the packaging facility. At the packaging plant, a meticulous process unfolds, involving sorting by size and tailored packaging to align with specific orders. This intricate ballet of human labor and technological precision underscores the significance of California in broccoli production and the nuanced procedures integral to bringing this nutritious vegetable from the fields to consumers. Our next venture takes us to the waters of Alaska, unveiling the meticulous process of harvesting thousands of halibut. The initial step involves the fishermen securing bait to the fishing line and releasing them into the sea. With each hook strategically spaced 5 to 6 feet apart, approximately 300 hooks are utilized in each drop. After about two hours, the yields of this method are revealed. Alaska witnesses the capture of about 4.7 million pounds of halibut annually, primarily facilitated by individual small boats. Once captured, the fisherman adeptly employs a knife to dispatch the flounder, preparing it for further processing. Post-capture, the fisherman efficiently uses a knife to dispatch the flounder before transferring them to the boat's tank. This integral step ensures the preservation of the catch and prepares the fish for subsequent processing. The meticulous choreography of baiting, hooking, and handling the halibut underscores the importance of Alaska's fishing industry in maintaining the robust supply of this sought-after fish. Our concluding destination in this video transports us to the waters of Louisiana, where the task at hand involves the harvesting of hundreds of tons of oysters for relocation to a new farming site. Louisiana has long maintained its status as the leading state in oyster production within the United States. Consistently, the annual oyster production in Louisiana constitutes a substantial 63% of the national output. Once these oysters are harvested, a meticulous process ensues, involving their transfer to other boats. These oysters undergo a year-long cultivation in new waters before attaining readiness for official export. The fishermen carefully manage this transfer of newly acquired oysters, ensuring they are introduced to the waters under their jurisdiction. This intricate operation demands about two hours to seamlessly transport all the oysters from the boat into the sea. This cyclical process underscores the vital role Louisiana plays in the national oyster industry. From initial harvest to relocation and eventual export, the state's waters become a dynamic hub for the cultivation and distribution of this prized seafood. The commitment of Louisiana's fishermen to sustainable oyster farming contributes not only to the state's economic prosperity but also to the broader seafood landscape in the United States. Thank you for accompanying us on this exploration of agricultural efficiency and innovation in harvesting. If you found this video informative, please show your support by liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell to stay informed about our upcoming content. Until our next journey into the world of farming, happy farming to all!